Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this Python Byte we're going to be talking about conditional variable assignment. So one of the first things when you start learning Python is you will learn about variables. So students is the variable and on the left, and 30 is the integer value that is going to be contained within students on the right. So that's it. That's uh, Variables are pretty simple, and uh, no need to really talk more about that here. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about is conditionals. So what we're talking about is your if statements. And in the context of uh, assignment on the single line like this, it's going to be also, it's going to be if and else. So if the one value matches some condition, set the value to this. Otherwise, do it this way. So that's kind of what we're going to be talking about and going through. So I'll get some examples, but really it's uh, to just write it out and then we'll get a little bit more into detail is you're going to be setting your variable to a value based on a conditional or just say condition. Otherwise set to this value. So if else, that's what you're going to be. Uh, that's what you're going to be doing. So two different things. If this, if something is true here, set it to this value. If that is not true, then set it to this other value. Uh, so here we'll be talking uh, some examples. I'm going to be talking just about some different IT environments. You know, dev, uh, test, prod, things like that. Uh, development, you know, you div you build your tools and applications in dev, and then you know you test them in QA or, or develop or test, but then you set them up and you run them and make them available in production or prod. So we're talking about dev and prod for these examples. We say dev equals dev, and then prod is well prod. Now, one other thing is we have two items here, so you really need a third for this, uh, your, your comparison. So your comparison can be really anything. In this first uh, example here, I'm just going to say script, script arg is going to be uh, dev. So think about a script, you know, you're, uh, you're running a report on, a, uh, on items in a database. and depending on whether you want, uh, you know, whether you're testing it out and you want your development database to be connected to and run, or you want your production database to be connected to and run. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. So whether your script uh, arg is in a com uh, config file or whether it's like a, an actual argument on the command line. For this purpose, it doesn't really matter. The point is you are giving the script arg and we're going to be setting the value based on that, comparing it against dev and prod up there. So uh, we're going to be using dbenv. So that's just what we're calling. That's a database environment you want to connect to. It's going to be dev or it's going to be prod. So first, we'll just go through a regular if statement. And it should be very familiar. And this is one way of setting this dbenv variable. So we're going to say if if script arg is prod, well then dbenv is prod. And then else, because if it's not prod, it's going to be dev in this situation. Okay. Now let's take a look and see what that dbenv is. It's dev because right there. And you know, you should be able to read through an if statement by now. And that's basically, uh, you know, it wasn't prod. So that's why. Okay. So let's take this four lines. It's not crazy, but it's four lines. Let's put it onto one line. And the goal, too, is you want to still make it easy to read. I mean, this is pretty. 
pretty obvious, pretty easy to just skim through and say, okay, that's what's happening. So sometimes just because you can put something on one line doesn't mean you should if it makes it kind of a little bit more convoluted or unreadable or a little bit more difficult. So it's always good to consolidate code, but not at the expense of like readability and understandability, let's say. All right, so let's go and let's just set this uh, variable. Let's just change db env to none right now. And then let's do a script arg to prod. So just get some different, uh, get some different values here. Okay. So conditional variable assignment on one line is going to be as follows. db and equals prod if script arg equals prod else dev. So here, db environment, right? Set it to prod if the script arg equals prod. If it doesn't, set it to dev. So what does our script arg equal here? It equals prod. So this should be set to prod. Remember, prod is just prod. All right, so what is db env now? Prod. OK. Uh, and then let's just do it with true and false. Uh, that's another common, common way of uh, arguments and inputs for a script. So let's say uh, here, let's say script arg is true. Now, oh, let's just set db env equals none, just to be safe. All right, so now let's do it with true and false. So let's just say, hold on, db, db env equals prod if script arg equals true, else dev. So here, set the database environment variable to production prod up here, right? Set it to prod if the script arg is true. Otherwise, set it to dev. Remember, dev is just dev. So what do you expect to happen? Well, script arg is true right here. So this should be prod. Let's take a look. prod. All right, last one is just testing for existence of something. So here, let's say uh, db env equals none, and then uh, let's say script, script arg is none. So think of like defaults in a, uh, you know, in like a, a argument for a script. So that's kind of what we'll be running with here. So we'll say db, here we go. Hold on, okay, db env equals prod if script arg else dev. So what's this going to be here? Script arg is none. There's no value in this. So if you do this if script arg, you're saying if script arg has a value. Well, it doesn't. Its value is none. So you're not going to assign it to prod because it didn't fulfill the condition. You're going to assign it to dev. So let's see if that is, let's see if that's, we're going to get what we expect here. Dev. So you can do like multiple comparisons. Uh, like if script arg is this and something else, but really, I think you probably want to keep it simple because you still want it to be readable. Uh, it doesn't matter, like it's not going to impress anybody if you have a long line of code that nobody can make sense of. That's just more frustrating than anything else. Uh, so you know, you're still able to consolidate four lines into one doing it this way. And uh, it's still pretty readable. And I mean, if you just you read left to right, well, you can basically set database environment to production if this script arg exists here, 
otherwise else set it to dev. So I think that's pretty readable. Uh, and it's a good technique and it's, uh, like I said, scripts and configurations and things like that. I think this is pretty useful when you're dealing with multiple possibilities of, uh, you know, for like environments or some other type of, uh, type of selection in a script. Uh, and it's, and it's just useful all over the place beyond that too. This, this is just one quick example, but that was conditional variable assignment for this Python byte. So stay tuned for future Python bytes.